hold the camera. Just, film. Just hold it here and hold it here. Just film. While you're filming, then I can do something. Oh, two. Uh, <laughs> I know, you can race. We need three. And you're all racing four. Oh, you. You can see me. Can you see through there? Yeah. You see the ring? Mm hmm. The elevators, they go up and down. So you gotta make sure you get them fixed because if you don't get them fixed, ah! Then you go like this. And here's the one handed knot. Just like so. And then there's other things. Let's see if I can get the little band out. There's the little band. We got them here somewhere. I'm gonna put it in my back pocket. I can't remember where I put things. Yeah, it is in the back pocket. I feel the plastic. Yep. Yeah. Everybody's doing this on the internet on YouTube. There are probably other video channels, but I know YouTube so far. If the rubber bands don't fall apart, it's a good thing to have backup. I may have time to break them. Look, I got backup. It's always important to have backup. They're locked. And then it walks right through. And the cop says, so you want to see it again? Because I'm at 100? And he goes something like that. That's because he turned a 100 of bills to one dollar bill. And then he does this. It's just crazy in reverse. And if I did it in reverse, I'd have to do shows. Here we go. Let this go through here. Comes off the thumb. Then you got this version. This comes on the hand. And you got this. And add, uh, actually, it doesn't matter, but I think it's going like that route. Alright. 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 And then you do it like that, and you're still able to do the same thing. And then, where is it at? And I gotta find the handkerchief. Where's the handkerchief? Oh, here it is. Here we go. Watch now. Life is but a vapor. The spirit's moment, then it's gone. But if you want to see it again, watch go like this again. All the way down, all the way back. On Mark! Get some wiffle dust. Like I said, it's important to get saved and find Jesus in your heart. It's gone. Go! That was pretty cool. Yeah, thanks. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Andrew. How about hold this, man? I need to do something else. Again? Are you, I'm, what am I? Am I, you're, am I the bottle water guy? I'm a water boy. What'd you do? Ride the horse? Yeah, very funny. He's in the comedy. I'm in a little bit of comedy and magic tricks and juggling. Bless you. The, um, I see things magical just like after reading books on it. Like that, those steps, I can picture a trap door in there, and a guy or even a boy, even you could fit in there. And then they wheel it away, and it's like, and all of a sudden you reappear in another location because you got out of the stairs and went to another area. Everybody's still thinking you're in that cage, but they didn't know you got into the stairs and, and wheeled away. You're focused on there, spotlight's on there, and it changes it, the tiger changes to um, a lady, meanwhile, but you were in there. What, you're coming down on a table like Batman and Robin and reappear on stage? Now, how did Andrew do that? <laughs> it's magic. It's an illusion. Time misdirection. Oh, good frisbee throw. Like if right now, if I rigged this up to have a, a platform with the, that had the same look like this grass, mm -hmm. and then the camera's right here on a tripod. It's not trick camera, it's using the camera's point of view, so it's not camera trick. When, when magicians say you have to know camera tricks, it is. It's just using the camera's point of view. You raise the shield, and, and then when you drop it, it looks like all those trees are now gone. But what it is, that whole platform, yeah, yeah, definitely. You raise the whole platform up, that meets the horizon, and it looks like it's gone. And then reverse it, raise the shield, in other words, sheet. And then after you, it comes down, and then you drop the sheet. Now, 
And now the trees are back, or houses, or whatever, or a jet airplane, or whatever, on a runway. <laughs> Daytime or nighttime. Ponge Ray started that way. It's pretty neat. He made the Santa Fe Hotel vanish like that. And I was like, i got to figure that out. Dave said, why well, do you keep playing that back? Why do you want to spend giving my dad $20 to take a freeze frame of it? I'm going to figure this thing out with Jesus help. And then I noticed, lucky the Lord provided the clouds at the right moment. All of a sudden, the clouds are meeting the horizon, and when he brought it down, now the clouds are higher up. Oh, I know what he did. Uh, the huh? truth is, it's so hot, I'm made of sugar. If I touch the water, I'll melt. Oh, I'm man. What are you, the guy witch on The Wizard of Oz? No. I'm melting, no, I'm, I'm melting. Warlock. I'm the warlock. Warlock. Mark Taylor, the Utrechter, does a good cowardly lion, and Bob Scuffle does the... I'll get you, you pritchies. I can't do it, but Bob Scuffle can do it. I can do a duck. That's about good as I can do with the sound effect. Well, that and the kitty cat, but <laughs> I did. It was a, more like a cat fight. I don't know if I do that, but I wonder where the cat is having a fight. I'll try it, but I don't know what. It, maybe they'll be too busy not even paying attention. I'm trying to do it. I did in a while. I did, I did that. Uh, Mark Taylor used to make us make sounds and stuff. I did the duck call. I did that. This is the 1980s. We'd have inspirations after church. I'm sure we, they still do that. Or the, the people in the church uh, let us provide the church place, sing songs, do activities, and me and Rob Chapel would do magic tricks. But the thing is, um, um, Mark Taylor wanted to show that when Jesus had the, the disciples read the Bible, that it was written by Jesus himself, even though it was them writing it, but it was through Jesus making them write it, but it was coming from him. But he was just how man will get things mixed up. He whispered to one person and whispered to the next person, and by the time you get out the end, it was a completely different story. It's like, it didn't even come out right with a, you know, you could say Mitch and Duck. By the time you come out the end, he rode on a horsey, and he had a baseball bat, you know, and that's not what the story started out to begin with. And he gave an, an example, it's kind of hard to decipher what's real, what's not. So. He had this one guy drink some water and burp, and then he had me do a duck call, and I did a ping pong sound and all this other stuff, and the cat, and they had a cat at the house, and whenever it came to the the, the duck, they thought it was a real duck, and that was me. I told my sisters and Mark, ah, no, because you know your brother, no, you can't do that. And, uh, yeah, and when it came to the cat, they thought it was the cat, but it was me. <laughs> your stupid. What, stupid or what? Yeah. I got so much in my mind, I went to seize her. Yeah. Cecil, Cecil yeah. Lee, right there.